Welcome back to part two of our match moving for VFX series. In part one, we gave an overview of why match moving is so important in the VFX pipeline. Let's go back to Equalizer and have a look at adding more points. You've only been able to add points in locations that were visible in the, in the original camera, on the table and on the back wall. But it's difficult if we wanted to add more points along the bottom of the wall or maybe on the ladder because they're obscured by the table and the chair etc. Okay, if you wanted to add more points there we could use a second camera to help us. So let's have a look at our second camera. And this is totally unrestricted so we should be able to add points wherever we want. And I'll show you how to add more points. So let's switch to our second camera of the wall and let's go to auto tracking and you can see here we have a mask and this mask is just going to restrict where we fire all of our auto tracking points okay so we're going to go forward with our primary pass and, and backwards with our secondary pass where we'll just refine the primary pass let's give that a go so here we can see our attempt at our 300 points being fired at high contrast points mostly, patterns in the scene. Okay, so let's go back to our manual tracking controls and let's do a solve with our new points. Okay, so it's totally broken our solve. That's because the auto trap points haven't got the same quality as our user trap points. Our user trap points were carefully and precisely tracked. So let's discard those results. Let's try and filter some of these points out. These ones that are kind of moving and bouncing around on the ground here. 178 points that are bad and we're going to delete them. Okay, let's have a quick look through. It's much better, there's still quite a few left. Let's just go with that for the moment. So let's calculate again. Okay, and we've still got our fairly good camera motion pass for both cameras. And we now have this dense set of points for our wall. And if you look carefully here, we can even see where the ladder is sticking away from the wall. So obviously with more refinement, we'd have a much more accurate solve but this is pretty good just to demonstrate the overall process so let's use that result okay let's export this and get it back to Maya and obviously this is a new scene so here at the edges we'd have to do some alignment to fix that up but in general it's working okay so now we can take maybe this and we will duplicate it Unhide our ultra tracks and let's see if that can help us in perspective. Let's try and place some more objects in the scene. Okay, so I think around here we can start to place this new toad. Let's just go back to our original camera and let's try and place toad objects and snap it to some of these locators ok zoom in a little bit more ok so it looks like a good place one there scale down a little bit another deeper cut snap it here Rotating around a little bit, and one small one. Right here, Just squeeze it in the middle. Now we can go back to our original goal, which was to kind of place things behind as well. So we want these really to snap down here. Scale these up. 
duplicate a few more objects. Let's go back and hide all of our auto tracks. Now we have objects that are behind our table. We also have objects on the ladder that's sticking fairly well here. And that's a good use of our second camera to add more detail where we couldn't see it in our first camera.